Hey, church, it's Saturday. We've got church tomorrow. I hope that even now you're making preparation to be in services uh, tomorrow as we seek God together for personal and corporate revival. But as we come today, if we're on day 16 and we're praying for our family today. We find ourselves in Psalm 127, a very uh, familiar passage concerning the home. The Bible says in, in Psalm 127, Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. It is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows. For so he giveth his beloved sleep. Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of his womb is uh, the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. We're praying for family today. Praying for your family. What does your family need? Your family needs what my family needs, and what my family needs is Christ. Every one of us need God to be the center of our home. The Bible says, except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. You and I, we must trust the Lord with our families. The greatest thing you can do for your family is get them in a Bible-believing church. Uh, to get them under the sound of the gospel, uh, to have the word of God prominent and preeminent in your home, to make the things of God utmost necessity and utmost importance. You know, it doesn't matter what club your children belong to. They need to be in church. You know, 4-H soccer, baseball, whatever the case might be, those things should never take the place of God. When we allow the things of this world to undermine the priorities of God, we hamstring our families and we, we hinder God's work, not just temporarily, but we hinder God's work in the life of our children down the road because we've made them to believe that these things are more important than the things of God. Do you realize that our children, they may never be professional athletes, but they're going to be Christians. By God's grace, they'll come to faith in Christ and live for Him. There, you know, there's a, a less than 1% chance that, that your child will make a professional sports team. But there's a 100% chance that they'll stand before the Lord someday. And may God help us as parents, as the caretakers of our home, emphasize the things of God. The Bible says, except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Don't, spend your, don't just spin your wheels. Don't give over or give in to vain, to vain pursuits. Live for God. Emphasize the things of God. Trust the Lord. Be faithful. Determine now that you'll have your family in church tomorrow morning, tomorrow evening, this coming Thursday night for revival meeting, every, every, every service. Let us make preparations for the betterment of our families. Father, we love you. And Lord, we, we trust you to help us build our homes. We don't want to labor in vain. Uh, we don't want to, to waste our time, uh, expend energy that, uh, that will just lead to frustration and, and defeat. Lord, help us emphasize the things of Christ. Lord, we need you. Lord, we pray for our families today, that you would strengthen our homes, that you would give us the discernment needed, uh, the the commitment necessary to, to place our families under the direct influence of you and your word and your local church. Lord, help us, we ask. We pray for revival. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Church, we'll see you tomorrow.